Look at the colors in there. I mean, super healthy. We've got this beautiful Thai poached chicken with sticky rice, a little bit of green curry broth, and these beautiful crunchy vegetables. Okay, so this is a real simple Thai dish, and we're gonna get loads of punchy flavors through there. The best way to stop chicken drying out is to poach it. So first up, we're gonna poach the chicken in a nice little broth, and we're gonna get some rice on the go. So, equal quantities of rice into your pan. And then equal quantities of water just over the top. So 50-50 ratio always works. Bring that up to the boil, stick a lid on, and turn off the heat. That will always give you perfect rice. And that pan can go straight onto a nice boil. Okay, so second pan, we're gonna make this really simple broth. Into this one, I'm gonna add 400 milliliters of full fat coconut milk. So 400 mil. And then into that, we're gonna add another 100 mil of water. Little stir around, making sure we get all the coconut and just add that as well. Flavor wise, what we're gonna put in here. First of all, we're gonna whack some heat on this. So flavor wise, we're gonna put a little bit of garlic. Just peel that one off. And just nice and fine. Just gonna chop that as finely as you can. And that can go straight in. We've got a heat element going through here. We've got one green chili. I'm just gonna take this in half. I'm gonna take out a few of those seeds. So I don't want a massive amount of heat going through this one. And the same again with this side. And then again with this chili. Nice little shreds going in there. So we've got our heat element to our stock and we wanna put a little bit of flavor through here as well. So over here, we've got a little bit of lemongrass. Couple, just give it a good ruffle up. That can go in. Another one. These are just the dried ones. You can get fresh, even better if you can get them. We've got two kaffir leaves, so lime leaves. If you can't get these, just a good squirt of lime in there with a little bit of lime. Rind will work perfectly. So one, two. We've got um, a, a, just literally a run of the mill chicken stock. Because we've got the 100ml of water in there, we'll put some chicken stock in there. That's gonna make the main basis to give that full body to the broth. So, in with your stock. We have got a small teaspoon, and it only needs to be a small teaspoon because we've got the basis there for a green curry. So a little bit of green curry paste. Literally a teaspoon. And then we're just gonna give that a good stir around. So we've got loads and loads of flavor going through there, which is gonna really infuse the chicken breast. So we've got a couple of chicken breasts I've just taken away. Any of the sort of sinew from the outside that you can see that you don't want to go in there. So that little piece can come off and they can just go straight in. And again with the other one. Important to clean your board down, even though I do it every time I touch anything with meat, because I always get the comments down below that always says, oh, he's cross-contaminated, everything's gonna die. This is my home kitchen. I'm gonna eat this afterwards, and I always wash my board. I guarantee nothing goes on there with chicken juice. Right, so essentially, when you're poaching something, I'm gonna try and keep this as, um, as light as possible. So rather than like a green curry, which is quite pungent and strong, we're gonna have a really light broth here. So that chicken is gonna be really, really tender. That's gonna take about eight to 10 minutes to cook all the way through. And then I'm gonna add some flavor to here. I'm gonna take whole limes, and they can just go in whole. Little squeeze, then in whole. And we want a couple of those in there. Now, that is gonna add just that nice sort of citrus sort of taste to the rice. Nothing too overpowerful. That can go in, that can go in. And then on with our lid, just to leave that to do its thing. So at this point, you can try and think about what veggies you wanna get into the dish. You know, what was this, 15 to 20 minutes, and you've got a really simple dish on the table. Get your veggies into you. So things like shredded carrot would work really well in here. Um, shiitake mushrooms, chestnut mushrooms. We're using monstu today and a little bit of sweet corn, and it really gives it a nice textural bite, and it gets the extra veggies into your diet. Okay, so that's been on there for about eight to 10 minutes. That chicken is gonna be put through perfectly. Now, with our veg, we don't wanna overcook this. We want the poachiness of the chicken, so nice and soft and tender. You want that light broth, you've got the sticky rice, and we want the crunch from the vegetables as well. So we've got some monge too here. 
And with this, I am literally just gonna roughly chop this down and that can go straight in and exactly the same with our baby corn. Or weasels willies, as my mum used to call these. Never look at that the same again, will you? Just gonna cut these on the tilt. And that should do us loads of veg in there. I want loads of crunch, so off with your heat. And we're gonna serve this one up. Excuse the sort of um, wincing sounds that I'm making today. I tried to do a half marathon this weekend um, up in Liverpool. Um, if you have done a half marathon or a full marathon, give me some tips, because I want to do the full marathon next year, but I got to 10 miles and my legs were in bits. And I mean absolute agony. And I trained quite hard, but I had to walk the last three miles, which was, for me, traumatizing. Wasn't happy. So any tips or tricks you've got for running it, comment down below, please. Right, let's serve this one up. The rice is done. That is fluffed up perfectly. And you've got that little bit of citrus going in there from the lime. So generous portion. there we have got our chicken breast now with this this is entirely up to you you can serve it whole i'm going to put some little slivers down here so i'm going to slice this up nicely and that's what you're looking for perfectly poached nothing dried out at all i'm going to just lay that down the top we've got our beautiful vegetables that can just go over the rounded edge We have got some coriander. Now I know on this channel, we have got some serious lovers and haters of this herb, but I love it, so I'm gonna use it. You know the drill, if you don't like it, don't stick it on. If you ask me for an alternative, there isn't one, so don't bother. It's coriander or no coriander, as simple as. That's gonna go just over the top. Nice little sprinkle. We've got our spring onion. Just to cut that just on a tilt. the fan that over the top. We've got the tiniest amount of red chili. You just want little tiny pockets of heat there. You don't want too much on there because there's a really nice light fragrant broth. And then finally, just a little bit of our broth just over the top. And that is my super simple, really healthy poached chicken with a Thai broth and a beautiful sticky rice and mixed vegetables. So simple, and look at the colors on that. It doesn't get much better. Look, hope you enjoyed this dish. Comment down below if you wanna see more of this type of recipes, and I'll see you next week. Cheers then, bye-bye.